guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. This is your host Kanekwa and in today's video I'm going to talk about a major question which has, uh, which generally people they ask me like uh, which filter should I use in my aquarium and they text me like I have a 4 fit aquarium, I have a 3 fit aquarium, they want the best result as well. So the question here depends totally on what kind of aquarium you have the amount of water capacity it holds and the type of fish generally in the comment section without looking into the aquarium it's hard for me to tell them and I don't want to give you all a vague answer because uh, I'm not a shopkeeper because whenever generally you go in a shop fish aquarium shop they will tell me yeah yeah you can buy this yeah it's gonna work but once you'll buy it you cannot return it back so in today's video I'm gonna show you practically the filter which I use you can see I have two canister filter with me currently I'm gonna show you the amount of filtration which it gives me and after watching that you can decide for yourself what is going to be the best aquarium filter okay there you go guys so there you go guys i have two canister filter that is sunson 302 and 303b which i'm currently using 303b for my four feet aquarium and 302 for my three feet aquarium tank this is the most cheapest budget friendly and reliable canister filter so far which i have used it comes under uh, my budget and to be honest i cannot afford a high-end canister filter and i have more than a year experience using it and so far it has never given me any kind of problem but let's not go there you can see friends i have six goldfish with me and the water is still crystal clear and to be honest i never siphon my cream tank and you know goldfish are massive eaters they eat i feed them three times a day but there was never a time wherein i have to siphon my cream the filter does its job the flow rate is not that high the goldfish they don't get disturbed by the flow rate and to be honest flow rate matters the filter which you're gonna use make sure that it circulates the water at least five to seven times this filter 303b uh, it's it shows that it circulates uh, 1400 liter per hour that means this 75 gallon tank which i have approx like 250 to 80 so the water which circulates per hour uh, it's like four to five times approx that's not bad and and below you can see uh, i have 302b and it shows 1000 liter per hour and in my three feet tank i have uh it's a 35 gallon aquarium tank so approx like 120 or 30 liters so approx the circulation of the water in this tank it's around like uh eight to nine times and the water here is much clearer than the one which i have in my four feet aquarium tank you can see the difference guys uh, knowledge is very important and once you have the knowledge you'll be successful trust me you can save money and you don't have to buy extra spare of filter for your aquarium at the same time make sure to calculate the water holding capacity of your aquarium friends those who do not have budget for canister they can even use internal filters but frankly speaking it's just a one-time investment friends and i even clean my canister after three to four months that means three or four times in a year where in internal filter you have to regularly clean them and it has a small capacity to hold beneficial bacteria so you can see friends how much time you can even save by buying a canister filter and here in my new planted aquarium tank i'm using a small rs 4000 hang on filter because i'll be adding small fishes maybe a beta or mollies so the amount of waste they produce is not going to be that high and the plants will also help me to maintain the nitrogen cycle 
and if you want to know what's going to be the best glass for an aquarium then please do like and subscribe i'll be making another video regarding aquarium glass and let's get back on the topic flow also matters friends uh, for planted you need to make sure the flow or the outflow of the filter is not that high and talking about my sensing canister filter the flow are moderate my goldfish they can swim easily they don't have any problem swimming or tackling the force of the outthrow of my filter canister filter and even my ranchos they don't have any problem so if you want to keep a mild average fish these are the best but friends if you're planning to keep big size oscar fish then i will not recommend that to be honest can you see friends the size of the poop they this monster fish they release this is just a teaser my current canister will not be efficient for this job so if you have a four feet five feet or six feet aquarium where you have a big size monster fish and i would recommend you if you want to go for canister then you can go for sunson 3 edge w 3000 fuvel eheim the best of the best canister but it's gonna be expensive so i would recommend you go for a some filtration if you have any aquarium which is more than four to five or six feet go for a sum so this is my sum and my six feet aquarium tank it holds approximately like 450 to 500 liters of water and my motor throws 3500 liter of water per hour if you need the same result then you need to buy a two canister filter for your six foot aquarium tank here you can see guys the out throw and the current of water it's very strong so that's the reason i was telling you guys the circulation of water and the out throw matters a lot i will not be able to keep goldfish and small fishes in my six foot aquarium in fact they will be stressed out by the water pressure so please keep these things in mind that's it friends that's all for today i hope you like this video stay safe and stay connected and please like and subscribe till then take care bye bye